Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our first post-match press conference of the T20 series between India and the West Indies, which is being played in Kolkata. As promised, we have West Indies vice captain and standout performer Nicholas Puran available to take your questions. And I'm asking that if you have questions prepared, that you please indicate by raising your hand in the Zoom group chat. Um, as we are unlimited space at this stadium, we are sharing a press conference space with India and therefore we have to get through tonight's press conference in just about 10, probably about 12 minutes. So if you have questions, please don't hesitate to raise your hand. Please show that indication now so we can have a good idea of how long the engagement will be. I'm only seeing one raised hand at the moment and that's from Priya Naji. So Priya, I'm going to let you proceed with your questions. However, I'm asking that if the Caribbean media does have questions, please raise your hand as we will be given a preference. Priya. Hi, 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 Nicholas. Uh, hi Nicholas. Great knock. Uh, could you share your thoughts on the match? Uh, where did it slip? Um, thank you. Um, it definitely slipped. I thought we felt 10, 15 on short, to be honest. I thought, um, 170, 175 would have been perfect on that track. Um, so I can't really fault the bowlers to be honest. I think the batsmen we needed to play certain certain overs in the game a bit smarter. Um, so definitely the batsmen, you know, the bowlers were extremely good today, and um, you can't really fault them. Um, also, could you provide some update on Jason Holder? Uh, what exactly happened to him, and how he's doing now? Um, he's, he, he seems fine, to be honest. Um, I guess he should be ready for the next game. Um, I don't know the details of his niggle, so I can't say. Thank you. All the best for the next game. Thank you. I did see a raise hand from Terry Finister. Terry, if you do have a question, please proceed. I was actually going to ask about um, this novel, the Dario. Okay. So, has been answered. Know. I'll just give an update Thanks. on um, Jace. As as Puran said, he wasn't fully familiar with the situation, but Jace was hitting his chest yesterday in training. And um, just as a precaution, had to sit out today's game. He, didn't, he wasn't ready for today's game. So we are hoping that he will be ready for the next game. Um, the next indication that I'm seeing is from Brandon Corlett. Brandon, please proceed. Good night there, um, Nick Puran. Um, just give your assessment of the call quarter pitch, please. Um, a bit tricky today. I thought in the ball actually really well. Um, I think the ball was stopping a bit. It was a bit two pace. Even the spinners and the seamers, when you bowl the ball back off a length, it was hard to judge a pace of the wicket. To be honest, so hitting through the line was difficult early up in the innings. Um, other than that, um, the conditions here, a lot of dew here, obviously. Um, the toss was a big factor as well. Um, even when we were bowling, you can see a lot of guys you know, wiping the ball. Um, a lot of full toss goal in the end of it, so conditions in you play a big factor in the end. And what is needed for the West Indies to bounce back in the second T20? Um, again, you know, it's our batter. I think we, we played we played we played the spinners you know, fairly okay today. Um we just was to you know continue that and uh, continue to build partnerships. Um I just negate these spinners a bit better, to be honest. Um, I think today we are better in two minds how to go about them, whether to attack them or just you know, keep them out of the game. And we got caught in, you know, in both minds there. So small fix, in, in my knowledge, I think it's a small fix. It just wants to be a bit, a bit clear to, um, for the next game and just come out and execute our plans. Thank you, Brandon. We'll move to questions from Lennox Aldred, who will be followed by Santanu Gosh. Lennox, please proceed. And if anyone else does have questions, um, please show an indication now, as these are the final two requested on scene. Uh, thank you, Daria. Uh, I don't know if this question was asked, um, but good knock, um, Puran. I just wanted to know whose idea it was to promote a keel of the order. Yeah. Um, I was battling, so. We haven't asked that question yet, so obviously in our meeting we'll reflect and we we'll think about it. So I'm not sure at the moment that's how they're about it. Right, right. So uh, is it a situation whereby we can expect um, these kind of tinkering to happen with the batting order for the remainder of the series? Um, you know, if you think about it and you look at T20 cricket all over the world, it's, all, it's about being smart. Um, 
Now the leg spinners are chatted us. We just lost two wickets in the eleven to over to the leg spinner. And we, uh, you know, I guess the thinking behind it was, you know, sending a left hander there to negate, negate the leg spinners. And as soon as Akil came, you saw they bring back Kadesh Ayer to bowl, and then they brought back two seamers and they pushed the spinners a bit deeper in the innings. And I thought as a team, I thought from a team perspective, that was a really good plan. Um, again, Akil came on there. Maybe if he had hit that ball for six, they would be right back into the game. Um, it didn't work out, but I, I like that thinking. So yes. All right. Two more of those. All, all the best. Thank you. Hello, Puran. Uh, this is Shantanu Ghosh. Uh, was do any factor in this match? Um, big factor, obviously. Um, as you, if you looked at the game, then you see again you see the bowlers struggling to, to grip the ball in the back. The last five overs of the game. So yeah, um, obviously the wicket played better. I think the wicket played better in the second half as well. The ball came onto the bat a bit better. Um, even see, even seeing that the old bowlers bowl extremely well. So kudos go to them. Thank you. Alright, thank you. I want to say thanks to all of you for taking time out to be at this. Oh, sorry, tap and Can I? Can I go? Can I? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Nicholas, uh, extremely in a fine knock you played. Uh, by your standards, you're not, you uh, know, doing well in the past few matches. Even your IPL didn't go that well. So, could you say something, you know, about the auction pick and, uh, you know, that that surprise buyout by Sunrise Hyderabad and. Did that, you know, change change the fortunes in terms of scoring runs? You know, the way you played, you know, everything was going right through your bat. You know, did that uh, play a role in you know coming out and score um, runs for today's match? Um, to answer your question, if you really think about it, you know, uh, I scored. I didn't score. I didn't score much runs in the ODI series. We lost. Um, the games before that, I scored more shots in the Caribbean in T20 cricket. So I'm not sure what you're talking about. The IPL auction it went, it went really well for not only myself but a lot of other people. But I wasn't really focused, and that's not why I batted well tonight. You know, I stuck to my game plan and I, I executed today. So, are, are you preparing well for the IPL now? You know, looking at this now, not fine performance. I'm preparing myself to go out there and bat the next game and try to win for my team. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, guys, thank you for joining tonight's post-match press conference. We look forward to speaking to you again in the coming days, obviously with the second T20 being played here on Friday. Nicholas, thank you for joining us and congratulations again on a good nap. Hopefully the team will feel better in the next T20. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the night, everyone.